The third sea trial of the Type 003 aircraft carrier, 18 Fujin ship, has been successfully concluded. Among them, the J-15 carrier-based fighter successfully achieved catapult takeoff, a breakthrough achievement that demonstrates the advanced strength of the Chinese Navy. The Fujian ship successfully achieved the electromagnetic catapult takeoff of carrier-based aircraft, making the Chinese Navy the second country in the world after the U.S. Navy to possess and master the electromagnetic catapult takeoff technology for carrier-based aircraft. According to public sources, the electromagnetic catapult technology of the U.S. Navy's Ford-class nuclear-powered aircraft carrier uses a medium-voltage AC device. So far, there are still frequent failures in launching carrier-based aircraft on board, which has seriously affected the normal operation and maritime deployment of this aircraft carrier with a full load displacement of 110,000 tons. After entering service, the electromagnetic catapult system and electromagnetic arresting cable of the U.S. Ford have repeatedly failed during testing. A large number of engineers and technicians have been on board, working day and night to find and solve the problem. It is unclear when this sky-high aircraft carrier, which cost $15 billion, will be able to solve the problem of normal catapult launch and takeoff of carrier-based aircraft. The electromagnetic catapult technology of the Type 003 conventional powered aircraft carrier adopts a medium voltage DC device. Not only did the catapult takeoff of carrier-based aircraft in the on-land electromagnetic catapult track test run normally, but the Flying Shark carrier-based aircraft also soared into the sky for the first catapult test on board, verifying the reliability of the medium voltage DC ship power system. This will undoubtedly lay a solid material foundation for the future shipboard testing of the J-35 stealth fighter and the KJ-600 early warning aircraft, two supporting carrier-based aircraft built specifically for the Type 003 aircraft carrier. Professor Ma Weiming, director of the Institute of Power Electronics at the Naval University of Engineering, led a team that developed a medium-voltage DC ship electrical device and all-electric propulsion system, which was first successfully used on a new next-generation nuclear submarine. It was then used on the Type 003 aircraft carrier, the Fujian, which underwent three sea trials, which also verified the advancement and reliability of the device and system. Earlier in an interview with CCTV 13 News Channel, Rear Admiral Ma Weiming, who was called the father of China's electromagnetic catapult by netizens, said that the integrated power system is our team's first leading project in the world, and being ahead means being ahead of the United States. Based on the Type 1 second ski jump aircraft carrier, China has skipped the traditional steam catapult technology for carrier-based aircraft on the Type 003 aircraft carrier and directly equipped it with avant-garde and advanced electromagnetic catapult and electromagnetic arresting technology. The use of medium-voltage DC catapult-launched aircraft has actually surpassed the medium-voltage AC catapult-launched aircraft of the U.S. Navy. China can be said to have come from behind and gained an advantage over the U.S. Navy in carrier-based aircraft catapult technology. This is a remarkable achievement, and we have to thank the great contribution made by the scientific research team, led by academician Ma Weiming. The Fujian ship successfully launched the Flying Shark carrier-based aircraft during the sea trial. Its design and technical level represent a new breakthrough in China's aircraft carrier construction. 
It not only reflects the rapid progress of China's naval construction, but also is a significant symbol of the country's comprehensive strength and international status. It may have a profound impact on the improvement of China's naval combat effectiveness and the future naval warfare pattern. Judging from the dynamics of the Fujian ship's sea trials, this electromagnetic catapult-type aircraft carrier with a full load displacement of more than 80,000 tons is likely to complete various sea trial tasks ahead of schedule. At the earliest, it may be officially commissioned before the end of this year or at the latest in the first half of 2025, allowing the Chinese Navy to truly enter the three-carrier era.